Okay, so Faisal has a question. Thanks again for your advice regarding what to do next following a summer of twice weekly kettlebells and lots of miles on the bike. I recently transitioned to the transformation program and I'm loving the new movements, especially the whip and clean grip snatches. Thank you. I'm almost in tears. After six weeks of the transformation program, I plan on doing a simple three by eight hypertrophy program for another six weeks, as you suggested. Well, thank you. And you know, the workout generator at Dan John University is what you need to do and play around with some different exercises and, and just really expand your knowledge base of movement. This year, I'd like to follow your guidelines and start my fat loss in the winter months. Good, good plan. I remember your previous podcast. You mentioned that the increased demand on the body to stay warm uh, with the hearty soups often associated with winter are conductive to a fat loss period. I believe running your easy strength for fat loss will be a good program for this. And I have a question about programming. What kind of rep scheme... Well, there's a lot there, and then he asked a question. What kind of rep scheme would you recommend for daily barbell hip thrusts? Uh, first off, uh, you know, you got to remember that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Brad Pillen, and he has a book called The Book of Heat, and he talks about why saunas are better than ice baths. And it's not that ice baths are bad or immersion. I think they're great. In fact, I like them. But one of the things it does do for a lot of people is it makes them rebound from the ice, the immersions by consuming more calories or layering on a little bit of uh, extra uh, fat. In fact, you could even call it blubber if you want, because if you're trying to protect yourself from the cold, I mean, that is kind of the job of fat in this case. Probably not a good thing to say. Um, so it's not that I, one of the reasons I think it's easier to lose fat in the winter is because you are in more of a struggle all winter. Uh, your body naturally is going to try to stay warmer. Your body, I mean, in my neighborhood in January, walking down the street, walking two miles in the winter here is so much difficult. Your, your feet slide, you, you're cold, your ears hurt. Your, I mean, it's, it gets so cold. You feel like your eyes hurt here. You inhale. And if you have a mustache, you get this white crust here, which, you know, I don't have one. Uh, it's cold. And then you get in and you eat a, you know, you eat a couple of bowls of hot soup. You feel better. But if you add up the calories in that hot soup, it doesn't even, you know, it's not very much. So that's my point on that, just for clarity. Rep schemes for uh, daily barbell hip thrusts. Okay, I've done some experiments with it. Loaded to <laughs> loaded hip thrusts. And I, you're going to have to wave the weight every day. Two sets of 20 or two sets of 25 is where you want to be. Um, that's that's what I think. Uh, I've got Brett Contreras' Glute Lab book right there. His book, Strong Curves, mentions two to four rounds of, you know, 20 to 25 reps in the hip thrust. Since you're doing uh, easy strength, two rounds of 20 or 25. It, honestly, when I'm doing hip thrusts, I kind of just stop when it's time to stop. I don't really think about, I mean, we do do counted reps sometimes when we're just using the glute loop on the ground and we're doing hip thr thrust and clamshell combinations. But if you're doing that actual hip thrust with load, I use bands. You know, and I know a lot of people use weight. I use bands. Uh, so I have a glute loop around my knees and then I have bands holding me back. It's real natural for me to stop the set around that 20 to 25 round.